Hi guys and welcome to today's video. I'm going to be talking to you today about how Instagrammers are hacking the Instagram algorithm in 2020 slash 2019. You see, Instagram is definitely one of the most popular social media apps out there. That's a fact. But just recently, it's experienced a bit of a slowdown. And also, it's more difficult now than ever to actually organically grow on the platform. Because of this, people have been looking for different ways uh, to really grow their account on this app. And this has meant that they've been trying to hack the algorithm. If you go back a few years ago, you heard of something called follow unfollow. This is where people would mass follow people over a day, weeks, months, whatever it is, and then they would unfollow them after. And of course you're gonna get a group of people which are still following you because not everyone is looking for these vanity metrics in which they're just trying to grow their amount of followers and they're trying to get rid of the amount of people they're following. Now Instagram became wise to this and this is something which doesn't work as much anymore. In fact, most people know about this now. So if you're just following someone but you're not engaging with them, then generally it means they're trying the follow and follow tactic. The next thing that became really big, the hack and, and Instagram, was something called groups, which were pods or something called DM groups. This is something which actually worked very well. And arguably it's the least underhanded of the three techniques which I'll be talking to you about. You see, what people would do is they join this pod or this DM group, and then they would all drop their links into their posts and then everyone would like the post at the same time. You see, Instagram would look at this and think that your post was very engaging because it got lots of likes. And then this would result in your post showing higher up. And sometimes you'd even be able to experience getting your uh, content on the feature page. Now, by doing this, you would get seen by absolutely loads of accounts on Instagram and it could really catapult the growth of your page. But this is, once again, something else which has become really not very effective in 2019. The third one that I'm gonna discuss with you is the topic for today's video. This is called mass story watching. Now, you may have heard about this, but there's a good chance you probably haven't, and that's because it's become very popular very recently. You see, when you put a story on Instagram, it shows up on the homepage. It's a great place for it to show up because most people see it. Also, you will find that on your stories, you'll get a lot of people looking at them. And this can then drive engagement through them, which means it's a great thing or a great tool to have on your Instagram page. But this has now been used by big companies as a way of hacking the algorithm. This is called mass story watching. There's lots of companies now popping up in places like Russia, which will offer a service in which they will watch lots of people's stories. So you hire them as an account and they will literally send out lots of bots which will watch your stories. And then when you look on your stories, you might see something like a big verified account and they've been checking you out. Now this is very rarely gonna happen if you're a small to medium sized account. So what they're doing is they're falsely saying that someone is watching your story when they're not. Now a lot of times you might actually feel quite amazed that this has happened. You'll go onto the person's content, you'll check them out and you'll feel great and you'll hit follow. This has been a really successful way of garnering and grabbing lots of followers. And it's something which is going to become even bigger in the following months. But let's talk about this honestly, shall we? This is definitely an underhanded tactic because the person who is saying essentially that they're watching your story, they're not. They're actually using a company to pretend to watch the stories. So it's very underhanded. They're not actually watching your story and they're just getting a like from you, getting value from you as a person because you're following them and they're giving nothing in return. And that is the hack which is gonna be taking over the Instagram platform definitely for a portion of 2020. Now I'd like to hear what you guys think about all of these ones that I've discussed, but especially this mass story watching. Do you think it's underhanded? Do you think it's cheating? 
just let me know what you think down in the comments below. Now, if you're someone that uses Instagram regularly and you edit photos, you might find it easier using your computer to do it. I've actually made a video showing you how to do this, which you can check out above my head right now. It shows you how to upload videos and photos onto the Instagram app via your PC. Okay guys, I wanna thank you for watching today's video. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and whatever you do for the rest of the day, make sure it's a great one and I'll see you in the next video.